Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing an approach into an airport that is nicknamed Windy Wellington, which of course is Wellington Airport itself. Get down quickly, sorry. And this approach was recommended by Kiwiness, who I'm absolutely sure is a very, very good um, list of fun facts about uh, New Zealand. What else is Kiwi is gonna do? Like, it's its only job at this point. Um, so, it is extremely gusty. We have 30 knots of wind. So, we're gonna have to do a, something called a technique called crabbing. Uh, and if you're coming over and watching me from Jason's channel, first of all, hello, thank you so much. And to everybody that's watching, thank you so, so much for deciding to come and watch me. Uh, and this video in particular and if you're here already please do drop a like and to subscribe to the video and make sure to turn on those bell notifications so that every time I go live or if I post a new video you are 1, able to come watch the stream or watch the video immediately 1, okay uh, I'm gonna take manual control because I think the plane is on something <laughs> EP disconnect mic aircraft okay, yeah we're a bit too high I think I think it's being very abrupt with his movements, to be fair. There's moments like this where a uh, HUD that you get on 7 8 is really useful. Uh, and I'm warning you now, it, Wellington is not a long runway. I am not exactly planning on trying to make a buttery smooth landing. Of course, one would be nice, as it always is. But I am more concerned about getting this aircraft on the ground and getting planted so we do not miss the runway than I am of battering the aircraft. 1, so 000. sorry to any of you guys that have come here for a better landing like I normally do, but I think landing the plane today is a bit more important. Anyway, if you do want to see me do a different approach, or any kind of other approach please do put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to make it happen for you guys I'm I love to comment with uh, to your comments or I love to what do what you guys suggest so please do suggest anything if you want to see it on the channel and I'd be more than happy to fly the route on a live stream or even in a video if you like so, as you can see, it is windy, as you can tell just by the sea on the belief us. Uh, checked stable. When we hit 300, we're going to call minimums, because I forgot to call them. 400. I forgot to program the minimums, because I'm stupid. 300. Minimums and landing. Continue. We are going to be a little bit low 200. here. 200. Due to Microsoft Flight Simulator's dodgy ILS sometimes. 100. 50. 40. Idle. 30. 20. 10. Come on, plane. 5. To put it down! <laughs> okay, we're going back on what I said about the, um, land, I mean, the hard landing, I guess. Reverse is green, spoilers checked, and decel. Throttle idle, seven, I mean, reverse idle, 70 knots, and throttle back to idle. Manual braking for now, just slightly. And that is your approach into Wellington done. I hope that leaves you satisfied, Kiwiness. No, we're not going to make that exit. So let's just clean up the aircraft quickly. We can turn on APU bleed while we're at it. And turn that to taxi. Uh, thank you so much, Kiwiness, for suggesting this approach. I'd be more than happy to do a live stream it here if you would like, so please do let me know in the comment section if that is something you'd like. Uh, anyway, let's test Taxi in. And yeah, I would like to thank every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and for supporting my channel just by watching the video. And I hope to see all of you guys here for the next video I upload which is an approach into Paro Bhutan. Thank you guys so much and have an amazing rest of your days or evenings. Bye.